Adobe Flash Player. I made a video on this before, many years ago, but Adobe Flash Player still exists and it hasn't gone away. I was wrong, but not fully. I suggested that Play World was a desperate push for Animal Jam onto a more modern platform that would be supported more in the future, Unity. A platform that would allow for dedicated versions of Animal Jam on every major console, smart device and computer. As it stands, Play World is still only on mobile and Animal Jam is still in the web, even though sites continue to phase out support for Flash in favour for technology that actually works. Wildworks, to counter this presumably, have released an Animal Jam desktop app, which is nothing more than a version of Chromium heavily locked down with bundled version of Flash Player. Is this enough? I have a lot of problems with this desktop app and refuse to make content using it. It's unrecordable using OBS, probably due to the fact that it forces hardware acceleration, and has some pretty badly blown up sprite work and UI elements exclusive to the app itself. I remember watching a conference on Play World distinctly saying there would be no subscription service for the game. In other words, the apps that currently represent the uh, the most successful games or the most successful titles in the uh, in the kids category. Another reason is that, according to our research at least, parents of older kids don't really seem to like the subscription model. Parents of younger kids certainly do. Of older kids, less so. The reason being, uh, there is so much free content on the App Store. And it turns out that kids under 12 are using more apps in one day than any other demographic up through adulthood. They are jumping around from app to app more often than anybody else in the App Store. How likely are you as a parent to want to subscribe to an app and pay a monthly fee when you see your child hopping around among different apps so much? This is no longer the case. Animal Jam memberships will carry over to Play World and offer distinctive bonuses. The two games now share accounts and a business model. Will the switch to Play World happen at some point? I don't want to say no, but I also don't want to say yes because I'll look wrong and stupid for doing so. Worldworks seem keen on focusing on the mobile market. They've released many small mobile apps that can connect to Animal Jam and do stuff in those games. I'm happy with this, it expands the game in meaningful ways that can bring in more users and more profit for Worldworks as a company. But what about the future? Time will tell.